Hello everybody. So, I've been posting a lot of updates for the game I'm working on on Twitter, but I figured today it's in a position that I'm actually happy to show the systems working together. Keep in mind, everything you're seeing, all the artwork is placeholder, from the shitty UI to all the little sprites, everything's going to be replaced. What I'm showing here is how things interact and work together. So, this is uh, a map screen. Uh, that little leaf there, that's an encounter. As you can clear, if I hover over it, you can see the information uh, of what we're going to get. Obviously, in the end game, there will be a lot more encounters, but, but here's one showing off how they work. If I click on that, we'll go into a fight. But we can't go into a fight without having some equipment equipped. So, the inventory system. This is the fully functional functional inventory system. We've got our two little characters here, Duke Nukem and Dude. And uh, this is what they've got equipped, and this is the inventory. As you can see, we've got a little information on the inventory. So this is a helmet that does 15 physical defense and no attack, and has no moves attached to it. If we go to a fire sword, we will see that on the right it has a move called the uh, flame slash, and it does 10 flame damage and 15 physical damage. Um, I'll explain to you when I get to the fight, but you can see in the move it says that move takes five to use etc so let's just equip some shit on each character so duke nukem can have an iron helmet uh, we'll give him the flame sword and the iron shield and we'll give dude another iron helmet uh, we'll give him the iron sword which in this particular case you can see has vampirism that's just me testing the abilities uh, so as you notice the abilities are attached to equipment but they can also be attached to the character so dude you cannot see in any equipment he's got the heal spell which we'll see in combat um, i need a way of showing that but but it's there. So he'll equip his iron sword, and we might as well give him an offhand dagger for extra damage. Uh, you can see all that stuff's equipped on the side here. And cool. So let's engage the uh, the fight. So in theory, when you click this, it's going to pick through a bunch of random fights, but it's only got one uh, in memory. So this is what the combat looks like. So up here, you can see the timeline, which is uh, the order everyone's going to get their turn. Now, it's not 100% what's going to happen, because the way the combat works is what I call time units. So, based on speed at the start of a turn, everyone generates time units. Once they have their go, they'll generate more time units based on the speed, so the faster they are, the less they generate, and based on the move they're doing. So, a big move will generate a lot of time units. If the person is fast enough, they can generate little enough time minutes to go again before other people have their turn. So that's why the uh, timeline isn't always 100% accurate. I mean, it's accurate with the information available at the time. So if dude goes for slash, which is only five time units, he might just go again, because the next person, uh, Duke Nukem, has got ten time units. And we'll test that. And you see it's his turn again because of that. Now if it goes for vampirism, which generates 20 time units, he's probably not going to go again. And uh, Vampire, as you can see, attacks multiple people uh, and heals himself. All right, boom. Got some health back. Fancy numbers there. Uh, you've heard those sound effects are all going to be replaced as well. They're, they're placeholders, but I got them in the Humble Bundle, and yeah, they were quite nice. You see a little death animation there. So he's going to do Flame Slash. This is going to demonstrate potentially the multiple damage types, which it is going to demonstrate. And... Uh, the way Flame Slash works, it attacks the person and the people next to it, so we'll see this person take damage as well, and hopefully one of them will affect, will get the flame effect. There you go. Um, but it killed him. But that fire appeared on him, and he was going to take damage every, like, I don't know, five time units or something, which would probably eventually kill him. Uh, let's do it on that guy. So he's on fire, you saw the burn. It stays on him until the, a certain number of time units pass, so we'll, we'll, we'll let, let him live so we can see the fire damage him. And he's died. Uh, the flame will stay until the next round. Uh, and now we'll just finish off the next guy. Victory screen! So uh, this is what I've done today, the victory screen. Very proud of that. Uh, so we've got a leather tunic. I've uh, got some coins. Coins do nothing right now. There's no shop, but, but they exist. They're in your inventory. Go back to the map. If we look here, we now have the leather tunic. Uh, and... Leather tunic, uh, it doesn't say here, but it actually equips both to the chest and the legs because it's um, it's a full body thing. Uh, it doesn't have to be, much like uh, a two-handed weapon would take your main hand and your off hand. So in this case, if I equip that, boom, leather tunic, leather tunic. I should probably move these to be next to each other for that to make actual sense, but yeah, it doesn't matter. 
Uh, and then, of course, right now all you can do is just go back into the fight and do it again. Maybe get the Battle Axe if you're lucky on the drops, or get another Leather Tunic for the other guy. Um, obviously, end game there'll be a lot more encounters. Uh, you'll get more powerful by getting more drops, uh, etc. Um, obviously, there will be more to the game. I want to have non-combat encounters, which test against like uh, your what you call it, uh, dexterity stat to see if you can get past the thing, but I haven't implemented non-combat stats yet, so that's a while away. The first prototype is going to be pure combat. Um, I got my wife doing all the graphics, so it's going to look completely different, but functionally, this is all in place, as you can see. Thank you for joining me, and, uh, you know, uh, drop a comment, see if you're excited for the game or not. You probably aren't, but, you know, just let me know what you think.